Why, hello there, ladies, gentle beans, and robots. Because robots are people too. Want to know why? Because this game tells us that. Yes, we are going to be doing some more Detroit Become a Human. I'm Gamma, and in the previous stream, I made terrible choices and failed the tutorial because I'm good at video games. <laughs> Robo support squad. Get the. Oh, yes, yes. Get the. Get that tissue ready there, laddie, because, you know, tragedy. This ain't a quantic dream, it's a quantic nightmare, because I'm playing this. Cyberlife, the company that manufactured me, is conducting a user survey. Would you like to participate? Um, yeah, sure, why not? Uh, Cyberlife constructs a survey to know what users think. Do you want to participate in the survey? I'm going to assume that this just sends out player data, sure. Let's start. Would you consider having a relationship with an android that looks like a human? Uh, not really. Do you think that technology could become a threat to mankind? Hmm. It is and it isn't. <laughs> it's actually part of the game. It's all meta. Um, anywho. It certainly has proven to be one, but it is also an asset. I am not good at booleans. I'm just saying that right now. Um, uh, but, uh... Hmm. Now I'm all what? <laughs> I'm gonna say don't know. If you had to live on a deserted island and could only bring one object, what would it be? Hmm. A book, a cell phone, a pen and paper, a console, or an instrument. Hmm. Well, the console might not necessarily have power so that might not be a good you know what i'd probably go for an instrument do you consider yourself dependent on technology fairly i would i i i would say uh that it definitely helps me out a lot so i would actually say yeah probs technology do you most anticipate? Let's see here. Androids, flying cars, space tourism... Oh! It's a toss-up between flying cars and space. Hmm. I'm gonna have to go with maybe flying cars, particularly autonomous flying cars. God. Um... Not really. Would you let an android take care of your children? Brain connected devices, I saw that. That just seems creepy to me. I don't know. I, d I don't know how I feel about brain connected devices. Uh, would you let an android take care of your children? Um, I, it depends on uh, the the the. Boy, well, would you let a regular person? Would, would you let a regular person take care of your children? I would say that if androids were deemed trustworthy enough, I would say that they are probably as trustworthy or liable as a regular old babysitter who may or may not be uh, using your phone line, like, throughout the entire time that they're watching your kid. So, yes. How much time per day would you say you spend on an electronic device? Uh, a substantial amount. Uh... <laughs> Probably more! If you needed emergency surgery, would you agree to be operated on by a machine? <laughs> oh, quiet you. If you needed emergency surgery, would you agree to be operated on by a machine? Maybe? Never really thought of that, but, uh, hey, if, it's per if they're precise enough, do you think one day machines could develop consciousness? It's called the singularity. Ghosts in the machine. It's possible.
Uh, would you consider? Oh. Okay, now we've got... Demographics here, okay. Nifto! Can we go back? Yes, we can. Hello. I hope you're doing well. What would you like to do today? Uh, well, I would like to uh, continue my epic quest to attempt to get as few people murdered as possible. I mean, it makes sense, right? I mean... They've got steady hands. And I mean, you would still want to have, like, a surgeon watching it do its thing and making sure it's doing it correctly and stuff like that. Like, I can see... I, 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 I can see there being interplay. Anywho, I gotta reboot. When we last left, we, uh... Oh, shoot! Is that, uh, is that Marcus? Is Marcus still alive? Oh wait, no, I don't think it is. Uh, diagnose. Oh. Oh, um, all right. I gotta do some self-diagnostic here. Processing data. Theorem pump regulator. All systems are in low power mode. Defective. Uh-oh. Audio processor. Corrupted audio data. Damaged. Great. Our ears and our heart don't work. This ain't good. Uh, oh boy, we've got, we've got, probably got some issues with the optics too, don't we? Optical unit. Impaired vision. Corrupted mind palace. Eh, just like me in real life. Uh, except for the mind palace thing. That just makes me think of Sherlock. Um. Oh, and we have a thing here. Uh, left and right leg components. Missing! Unable to stay- oh shit. <sighs> er. I guess he fell off of something, I don't know- oh! Okay. We gotta crawl. Jump for parts. That would make sense. At least we still get him! Right leg component. Oh, can we, uh... Can we, can we put ourselves back together? Oh god! And I knocked my filter off. Hang on a second. Oh, quick and dirty. Uh, oop. I have my things elevated a little higher. I think it's actually making it easier to read, so... While using my projector layout, so... Oop! Okay, so... Now we just gotta... Keep crawling! And... There's our right leg. There's our left leg, or rather, a left leg component. Oh shit. Yep. At least we're easy to put back together from the look of it. Now we're functioning. Jason! Oh, hi, Jason. All right. 
Now that we can, uh, walk again- Ooh. I wanna- I wanna- Oh, there's our heart. If we were born without hearts, then what is broken? Oh! There's a place where we can be free. Find Jericho! Find Jericho! You're crazy. You're, you're crazy, Mr. Damaged Robot. I mean, I'm damaged too, but... You're damaged-er. <laughs> no, we're not heartless. We're, we're, we're not, we're not heartless, laddie. We just have machine hearts. They pump blue stuff instead of red stuff. Although technically, blood can be blue if you don't breathe. Alright, gotta replace more damaged parts. We gotta find an optical unit, which is probably gonna be the hardest thing, because... We have to see it to find it, but, uh, might be able to work with this body here. Ooh. He's got a... Oh, no, that heart was damaged. Um... Oh. Whoop. Optical unit. Ooh, we can use that. Whoa! Hello there, legs! <laughs> Holy shit. Uh... Alright. There's my detective. Ow! Okay, let's not use detective vision. That looks like it hurt. Um... Whoa! Get up! So I take it we didn't actually replace anything yet. We just kinda... screw diddly you would up. <laughs> oh, there's a thing! Let's take a look at you. Ah, here we go. We got a good, uh, compatible... Art. Oh, fuck. Can we find one that's not... on? I would rather not... kill ya. Can we find one that's just permanently defunct, but still has a working heart? But maybe, like, not a working brain? Cuz... I'd feel a lot less guilty if we could do that. What about you? Whoa! Guess we don't have anything there. You know what? Well, we'll- we'll help you. Especially if you can give us... a component. But he was asking for it. He- he, he was asking for it, so I don't feel bad about him. We helped him. Oh, did we not- Ah. I was hoping that we would also possibly get, like, a part from him. Whoa! Um... Um... Kill? I feel like he might try to kill us. Um... Well, we got 
apart from him. So... Danger is shut down imminent. Must replace Spark. I mean, Heart. Ooh. Well, at least our ticker's working. <laughs> nah, you Iron Man. I think that was the girl from earlier? Oh, no! Oh, no! Was it actually? Uh-oh. I was almost expecting her to say a thing again. Unless there was no other option. I can see this being one of those things where you simply just have to do the uncomfortable thing in order to live and keep the game going. I figured she would have said something or repeated her line or something. What are you, Hoax, Jason? Oh, you're downloading Warframe. Nice. I'm going to assume it's the Steam version. It's because I showed you Ordis, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think she's getting age-gated or something, but I've never seen that happen before, considering some of the other people that I've, I've seen playing it. Oh, it's on everything. Okay, where... Where... Oh, there we go. What do we got here? Nope. Still don't got a good sound card. Anybody, uh, anybody here got any Sound Blaster x -Fies? Actually, you know what? I'm feeling a little vintage. Give me an AW32. Oh, wow. What is the current gen Sound Blaster card? Assuming they still even make just dedicated cards anymore. Also, I think I saw a look prompt over there, but I lost it. Um... Oop. Can I do anything with that? Compatible audio processor. Okay. Come on. I swear to God, if I don't hear that old Creative Labs jingle when I install this thing. Nice. Sound Blaster AE9. Oh, yay! We can hear noises again properly. Oh, but we still got this funky... <laughs> I like that, though. I like the way that that looks. No, but I can always imagine that he did in my head. I can have ridiculous headcanons sometimes. That just have no importance to... Oh. Okay. That don't sound creepy at all.
Now. I just need a working set of peepers. It's a Kara. No. Fortunately, it's not our Kara. She's currently being a kleptomaniac. Um. It is really creepy, though. Alright, do you got any working peepers? You do have working peepers! Hope you don't mind. Uh oh. Oh! It's a good thing I was able to hear that, even though I didn't really had to get out of the- Oh no, they're moving. I feel like because I have my ears working, I should have been able to hear that and try to evade it. <laughs> Ow! Oh, it's like putting in contacts. Fuck off, folks. <laughs> I haven't tried contacts since... Uh, since I was made to one time when I was, like, still in my single-digit ages. <laughs> Our detective vision works again. And now we can climb the slope. How decent is your computer anyway, laddie? Oh. Come on, there we are. Erg. No, oh, hang on. We are... Urgh. Oh god, an i3 at 2.3. I hope the game will run for you. I mean, I know that game scales down pretty well, but uh, yeah. Urgh. Oh, L2. There we are. RAM ain't bad, but I feel wary about gaming on a Windows 10 laptop with an i3. He lives! Marcus lives! I was really hoping that he would. Otherwise, that would have been real bullshit. Because again, I didn't have an option to not allow him to die. All I did was make him defend himself. Even though that ended up making someone else die. Inadvertently. Robot Easter. <laughs> the second coming of Marcus. Robot Jesus.
I'm going to save my people. <laughs> my name is Marcus. That felt like a that that felt like it should have been a trailer. Oh boy, how could I have done that differently? Uh I there's one thing that I missed apparently. And I'm going to imagine that I probably had no choice but to kill that fembot for her for her heart. All right, I gotta find Amanda. Yee, yeah, look at me. We're looking fancy with our suit. Connor for real. And yes, I will keep on making that reference because I'm a dork. This place is pretty. This game is pretty. This game looks like movies. Ooh, stuff. Oh, is that our past self? Connor, Mark 1, RK800, number 313-2487, blah, blah, died at 1554 uh, Parks Avenue, Detroit, August 15th, 2038. Wow. So we have a robo-graveyard. This is where our past self died. I imagine that this is where the others go too if they end up kicking the bucket. That's sad that they made the graves for him, but at the same time it's kind of cool because it, it because that means that people are acknowledging that these robots have lives and therefore should be memorialized in some way shape or form. And that old Connor Mark 1 Seemed like a good guy. I wish he were still here. Okay, it's 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 like a it's like at the end of Titanfall when when BT sacrifices himself. You know, you get a new one, but you like the old one better. Rest in spaghetti. <laughs> Not BT, all the wounds. Hey man, I felt that too. I've played Titanfall 2. That's on my replay list. I want to play that again at some point. Anywho, time to actually play Detroit. <laughs> Robo deaths make Laddie emotional. Oh, I know something that she should watch since we haven't mentioned it in forever. Oaks gets it. Also, why can't I move? Why can't I move that way? Do I have to actually literally stay on the footpath? Uh, oh, they're robots. They get rebuilt. And I mean, hey, in OG Transformers, Optimus Prime dies. You would love it, though, laddie. Hmm. 
He dies, comes back as a zombie, dies again, and then just kind of comes back. It's, uh... It's weird. Alright, Amanda, where the hell are you? like I might- uh, no, I don't think I'm going around in a circle this time. Actually, yeah, no, I think I am. In fact, yeah, no, I am going around in a circle. Where the fuck are you, Amanda? Yes, I, uh, I gathered that hoax. I gathered that this place is a big circle, hence the circular design of the place. Use the bridges. Hello, birds. Ah, here we are. And we inter- okay, there we are. Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Congratulations, Connor. Finding that deviant was far from easy. And the way you interrogated it was very clever. You've been remarkably efficient, Connor. Yes, we have. We've asked the DPD to transfer it to us for further study. It may teach us something about what happened. The interrogation seemed... challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? Hmm, traumatized. Deviancy, I would say traumatized, maybe. It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner as if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This... Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the Deviancy case. What do you make of him? Hmm... Unpleasant, dysfunctional... Unpleasant. I find him unpleasant and unprofessional. He seems to have an addictive personality, has a lack of respect for procedure, and despises androids, which makes our relationship difficult. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? Hmm. Friendly, ad adept, um, adept, indifferent, don't know. Eh, fr I will friendly, I guess. To establish a friendly relationship. If I can get him to trust me, it will be helpful for the investigation. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Well, thank you. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. Well, I don't know what floats her boat. I just met her. He seems like he could be an okay person. We just gotta crack through that shell. That's why we gotta be nice to him. Possibly. Show him that not all androids are dickheads. I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. <laughs> but you can wait at his desk. Sure. 
shouldn't be too long now. <laughs> if it's a robot, I'm just gonna assume that you think it's cute, laddie. Any any other any other interesting little things around here? I don't think so. I just see some no-go virtual tape over there. Tensions in the Arctic have reached a new level. A Russian carrier and an American patrol boat reported to have crashed last night. Several warning shots were exchanged, apparently with Oop. no damage or casualties to either side. No, I want to see what that said. Ask about desk. I'm looking for Lieutenant Anderson's desk. In the region, particularly it's Sweden that desk right there. Thank you! Look at all these people. What have we got here? Lieutenant Anderson. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. Hey man, they pointed straight over there, and I also noticed that there was a desk that was vacant. So, yeah. I can have my moments. Can we spin the... Can... Come... Damn it. This game is disappointing me. I want it to give me the ability to spin in the spinny chair. It is not letting me. What kind of a choice-driven game is this? Zero out of ten. He looks so awkward. <laughs> Alrighty. If we're on a clock, examine his desk. And explore the police station. There are th th there are there we go. Knights of the Black Death. That's metal. Call Hank Anderson. Hi, this is Hank. Not here at the moment. You can leave a message if that's what turns you on, but don't expect me to call back. Beep. Whatever. <laughs> uh... Hang up. Fuck it. <laughs> Oop. And... Actually, probably should have left a message, but... That might- that might weird him out. The robot just calling him, maybe, I don't know. Oop. Not what I was thinking of scanning, but sure. Ooh, donuts! Mm-mm. Japanese maple. Mmm, some coffee. I can't really read that one because of the thing, but... Oh, anti-android slogans. Oh, that's not fun. Detroit basketball cap. Detroit police dismantle a network of red ice dealers. Oh. Reading some newspaper articles. Lots of, uh... Oh, these are old news articles, okay. Hairs. Matches. Just gotta look for one last thing.
scan you. Oh, there you are. Red Eyes Task Force. 2027. So this dude was basically DEA. It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office. Explore the office! What do I look like, Ultra Superman and Darian? Um, anywho. Explore the police station. Go see the Deviant. Learn... Uh... Listen to briefing. Alright, so I should probably explore the police station a bit more. I can't go that way! This really is time-sensitive. You can miss vital infos here if you aren't quick. Alright, well, just beeline it for the yellow nodes then, gotcha. Get ready for that if that's the case. Just constant spamming of the L... of the R2s. Laws of robotic parenting? Probably irrelevant. No, but it still shows up as a thing, so maybe I have to read it all, and I'll get dialogue options. No, I don't? Okay. Okay, that's just a bonus. I've played games where that is a thing, where just reading just random stuff will give you extra options, so... Yeah. I'll have to leave the room in such a way that the game will allow, because I have looked at two exits now, and they are like, no. Oh, wait. There's this room, though. Okay, these guys are just kind of chilling. <laughs> Fuck, look at that. Our friend, the plastic detective, is back in town. Congratulations on last night. Very impressive. Hello. Greet. Introduce. Ignore. Hello, Detective Freed. Never seen an android like you before. What model are you? RK-800. I'm a prototype. Hey. A prototype? Take a look at this. Android detective. So machine's gonna... Replace us all. Is that it? Hey, bring me a coffee, dipshit. <laughs> Apparently he can't read. No wonder, no wonder the robot... Uh... I'll leave. Want me to come back over there? I'll come back over there. It's not... it's not too dissimilar to real life. I'm just trying to be a nice guy, okay? Several sources report that CyberLife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detected after... Anything else? Detroit's have existed for several years now. This would be... Do, do, do you want this? <laughs> Android being authorized to play an active role in criminal... Yeah, no, if, uh... If you really weren't able to read my model number, then you probably don't deserve this job. <laughs> I'm just saying. 
I probably shouldn't go in there. No, I probably shouldn't go in there. Hmm. All right. Maybe there will maybe there will be valuable infos there. More working video game mirrors. That's always nice. Did I just... Did I just adjust my shirt? <laughs> Nothing... Nothing else is really in here, though. Unless I'm gonna get jumped when I leave. Yeah, there was nothing in there. There might be something in here, though. Especially since this thing is accepting my hand. Oh, because that's this is the interrogation room, that's why. Um... It's the other side of the interrogation room. We're on the side where you can see through the one-way mirror. But... I don't think that there's really anything that we can interact with or examine here. Ah, yes, you are correct. My... Apologies. Yeah, we probably don't know how to turn the, uh... Bug in the room on. <laughs> that was the room that we decided to screw Leo. Fuck you, Vincent. Just what the fuck? Ooh. Maybe there are important things over here? Or am I just gonna run to that tablet again? Run into that tablet, even. Oh. What? Um. Um, I have a dialogue options that... Uh, understanding. I get the impression my presence causes you some inconvenience, oh. Lieutenant. I'd like you to know I'm very sorry about that. Ah! Partner? Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. Oh, I'm trying. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. Cool. Well, thanks for that, at least. Do I have my own desk now? Yeah, I have a desk. I'm a real part of this precinct now. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hair's on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? <laughs> What's it to you? Sumo. I call him Sumo. Cool! Basketball! Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. Oh! No, we're making him hate us- we're making him hate us more! What the hell? Uh... Maybe I shouldn't bring up the music thing because I don't know if he would appreciate us knowing that he- we went through his phone. But I will mention the any androids thing. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? Yeah, there is one.
He is holding... Uh, it's a fucking... I should just stop talking to him, apparently. Um... Because... Uh, he's just... Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah. Too long. Don't go down even more. Okay. I feel like I should just not piss him off by telling him that we were listening to his iPod or his iPhone. So let's just get to work. If you have any files on Deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminal's on your desk. Knock yourself out. You really need the forensics. Yeah, let's just... Let, let's just do this. Alrighty. Ooh, we have quite a few of these. Oh, Jesus. Uh, we got a missing... Oh, this is really small. Uh... Ooh. Recognize anyone? A L series, A V series, A P series. Oh, I'm pretty sure that's Marcus. Uh, a mysterious one. Ooh, I'm pretty sure that's Kara. So, yep, there's a couple of them that uh, that look familiar. So, oh yeah, suspect. Ooh, um, what do we got here? We got. <clears throat> Uh, claims, uh, oh, a plaintiff pay, uh, claims that he was violently attacked by a domestic android, an AX400 model. The android had just returned from being repaired by the, previ uh, the previous day and has shown signs of aggression in the past. What? Ugh. It's because we just, it's because we wanted to help a kid! Um, we got a destroyed one. He did attack first. And then, let's see what, let's see what they, they're saying about Marcus. Uh, the plaintiff uh, claims that he was, that he was attacked by her android, an AP 700 series model. The android, uh, also trashed several rooms in the house before taking flight. And then these guys look like they're just other isolated cases. Uh, the manager of an... Eden Club reported the uh, unexplained disappearance of a wait, of a sex android model. The android disappeared after accompanying a customer to his home and never returned to the club. Oh. Oh. I can fucking see and read. The mysterious one. Uh Oh yeah, here we Oh yeah. Leo Manfred uh was found unconscious in his home, uh in the home of his father, Carl Manfred. Uh the letter uh, the letter's witness state uh, stated uh attests to the altercation between his son and the house android. The android is thought to be a prototype, unknown model and serial number, and was destroyed at the scene by... Uh, by attending officers. Oh. He's alive, though. We've seen him. Well. Huh. It's a good- it's a good thing that we didn't kill Leo. It's- it's a good thing that we didn't... murder him. Wait, we're just gonna scan all these. 243 files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX400 is reported to have assaulted a man last night. 
That could be a good starting point for our investigation. Are we going to do the Indigo Prophecy thing where we're going to be playing as one character who ends up chasing another character that we have to end up controlling while the previous character is doing a different thing? You shouldn't let your personal situation hamper the investigation, Lieutenant. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. So why don't you just run your program and shut the fuck up? Dude, calm down. <laughs> Resign the mission. No, oh, no, don't threaten! I'm going to file a report with my superiors that you refuse to work on this investigation. Listen, asshole. I am not... A lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Lieutenant, uh, sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that attacked the guy last night. It's been seen in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. I mean, I'm just trying to gain intel here, and... Just, fuck! So I'm gonna assume that I just did terrible at that. <laughs> Although, a good chunk of that path is pretty linear, except for there's a thing there that is locked. <laughs> He's always fixing his eye. <laughs> 